With the high prices of GPUs in the RTX 40 series generation, people have been waiting for lower priced GPUs from NVIDIA. The next GPU in line to be released is the RTX 4070 and we have some new rumors. Is the RTX 4070 the GPU you've been waiting for? Let's get into it. NVIDIA started this generation off with the launch of the RTX 4090 and that GPU has been scarce as the supply is currently limited and mostly being bought up by scalpers or third-party retailers. If we look at Newegg today, you see more than 20 models available starting at $1,760 and going up to $2,500, but the trend in pricing is decreasing. Also, AMD's flagship this generation in the 7900 XTX is also available over MSRP from third-party scalpers at Newegg. Why are these GPUs still not available in any quantity from Newegg or AMD? Because if they were, they would never be able to sell off all the RTX 4080s and 7900 XTs that are just sitting and rotting on shelves. Those GPUs are very plentiful. Apparently, nobody wants a second class GPU for close to $1,000 or more. You get the best or you get nothing. And that is also reflected in the sales of the recently released RTX 4070 Ti, where those GPUs are also very plentiful. So unlike during the mining boom, where both Nvidia and AMD sold lots of high-end GPUs at these high prices, gamers are choosing to wait for something more reasonably priced. And that's where people are looking to the RTX 4070 that will launch next. What is the RTX 4070? From the rumors we can see in this nicely compiled table at video cards, the RTX 4070 is a cut down 4070 Ti. It will also use the 80104 die with the same die size, just cut down from 60SMs to 46SMs. Just for reference, that 46SMs in the 4070 is the same number as in the 3070. The 4070 will also have the same 12GB of VRAM, 192-bit bus, and same bandwidth as its bigger cousin in the 4070 Ti. The clock speed is not known at this point, and the TGP could be as high as 250 watts. So with the number of SMs cut down that much, what kind of performance can we expect? Well, if you recall from NVIDIA's September announcement, we learned that the 4070 Ti, back then it was called the 12GB 4080, was comparable to the 3090 Ti. Or you could say that 60 ADA SMs are roughly the same as 84 Ampere SMs. So doing this simple math, you can say that 46 ADA SMs are roughly equivalent to 64 Ampere SMs. That is close to the 68 SMs of the RTX 3080. Another way to look at this is that the 60 SMs of the 4070 Ti is 30% greater than the 46 SMs in the 4070. From my analysis in my last video, do you know what else the 4070 Ti is 30% greater than? At 1080p and 1440p, the 4070 Ti is 28% greater than the 3080. So with these simple comparisons, you can see that the 4070 is likely to be about a 3080 in performance. Now, this is just rasterization performance. One thing that has become clear with ADA is that NVIDIA focused on frame generation and improving ray tracing performance. So the ray tracing performance will likely be better than a 3080. But the generational improvement from a 3070 to a 4070 is not looking good. If we compare the 3070 to the 3080, which will be similar to the 4070, then you'll see about a 30% generational uplift. Not an amazing generational upgrade. Not like the 50% improvement we saw with the generational upgrades in the 4070 Ti and the 4080, nor the 65% generational upgrade of the 4090. 30% for the 4070 is pretty weak. I said in my last video, if the generational performance upgrade is 40% or less, then it's a skip it generation. Now that we understand the performance we can expect, what about price? Just like every other GPU this generation, you can expect a price increase. There are leaked pictures of a Founders Edition packaging which suggests that there will be some GPUs available for MSRP. From the disturbing price trends I saw in May of 2022, as the GPU prices were coming down, I could see the prices on the lower half of the GPU stack already plateauing above the MSRP prices. Now Nvidia has gone full out ridiculous on the pricing of the 4080 and 4070 Ti. However, the 4070 can't go higher than the 599 MSRP, 
The reason is the performance scaling this generation has directly correlated with the pricing. In this chart, I plotted the RTX 40 series performance versus the MSRP, with the performances represented by the Timed by Extreme GPU score. I then used the 3080 score for the 4070, and you can see it fits right in line with the performance per dollar scaling that is evident for this generation. If Nvidia prices it higher than 599, then scaling goes right out the window. Also, Tim at Hardware and Box released his monthly GPU pricing update, and in his chart of prices for 2022, you can see the 3070 came down and dipped to MSRP in the third quarter, but then rose closer to $600 in the last couple of months. So it all points to a 599 MSRP since people are currently paying close to that in the 3070, and if the price goes any higher, then the performance scaling gets destroyed. But even at that price, you are getting 3080 levels of performance for a $100 discount two years later. That is a very sad generational upgrade. Last gen, if you bought a 3070, you got the highest level of performance from the previous generation in the RTX 2080 Ti. Likewise, if you bought a GTX 1070, you also got the highest level of performance from the previous generation in the GTX 980 Ti. Finally, when? When will we see these GPUs? That all depends on when the stock of the 3070s will dry up. Looking at Newegg and Micro Center, you see that stock is much lower than it was just a couple of months ago. Both of them only have a few models left. And from watching how the stock has been drying up, it could be as early as February or as late as April. But it's soon. Now, there is also a leak of the RTX 4060 Ti, but it seems that card is going to be a 1080p GPU this generation. From what I see shaping up, if you want a game at 4K or above, you need to spend more than $1,000 on a GPU with the 4080 or 4090. If you want a game at 1440p, then you will have the 4070 series that will cost you $600 or more. Those 70 series GPUs share the same die and memory. And the 60 series will be for 1080p. Those 60 series cards are also sharing the same die and memory. I'm not sure if I agree with the rumor that the 4060 Ti, and I'll have to look into that one. In any case, I think the 4060 Ti GPU is several months away, as the stock of the 3060 Ti's are plentiful. Like, share, and subscribe if you like analysis like this. Let me know in the comments below if you are still waiting for a certain GPU, or if you are done ski with this generation. Thank you all so very much for watching, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.